welcome to another Nomads Friday. So this week I'm gonna do a video that's been requested by a few people, a few friends, and a few random people I don't know. But anyways, this one's for you, and that is how do I color grade my footage? And so my process for going through it is a little bit different. I'm no expert in Lumetri color within Premiere. However, I, I know for the most part what I'm doing, how the vector scopes work, and all that sort of stuff. It's not gonna be too complicated, but essentially my process goes starting in Lightroom, and ending in Premiere to get my footage looking like this. Now, it's a pretty easy process, but it's not intuitive. So, the first thing that I want everybody to do, if you want to edit or manipulate your colors the way that I do within my footage, is to go into the description of this video. There's gonna be a LUT generator download, and you need to download that in order to do this. And what that does is it enables you to take your presets that you use or that you make within Lightroom and then convert them into cube files which are then able to be used as LUTs within Adobe Premiere. So go ahead and do that and then first thing that we are going to do is hop right into Lightroom. And so what this allows us is to put those presets on and copy them. So right now we're in Lightroom and this is a photo that my buddy Adam took of Johnny in Toronto. And so it already has my preset applied onto it. So I'll hit the slash key in case you didn't know. And that will show the before and the after of what the preset looks like. So as you can tell, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty drastic what it does. Um, and so the preset that I use, I only have three of my own that I've made so far, and I pretty much use them on all my photos. But this one is called James Lee T slash 01. And so that's right here, and that stands for teal and orange. Now I'm talking a lot, so I'm gonna get forward. The next thing that you wanna do if you wanna convert this into a LUT is copy it. So head below the presets where it says copy, and you'll see all these check marks and these blanks. Um, don't uncheck anything, basically all these checks just stand for the things that have already um, been applied to your photos in whatever you've done to edit it. So copy that, there you go. The next thing you want to do is generate a hauled, so click, I'll repeat down here where it says LUT generator. You want to click here, generate a hauled, click on that, uh, and then you can kind of put that anywhere you want. But anyway, so You'll go there and once you generate your haul, you can put that in your downloads or whatever file you want. Then you go into your library and import it there. So I'm gonna go to my library right now and I am going to click on my documents because I already have imported this so I, that's why I skipped the step. And so this is, oops, develop it again. And so this is what it will look like coming out um, instantly. So that's what the haul looks like. And then what you all you have to do is click on one of your presets here. And so if I click on James Lee TO, this is what it looks like before and after. The next step, what you want to do with this is you, just like any other Lightroom photo, you want to export it. Um, so export it wherever you please. So I've named this one already, I did it before, and it's called Nomads LUT Tut, LUT Tutorial. Export that. Then the next step is super duper easy. You wanna to convert to cube. That converts it into a cube file. Cube files are the ones that are used for LUTs. You cannot open them, but you can use them in Adobe Premiere, and I will show you how. So convert to cube, and I'm just gonna search it to make it easier. Nomads. LUT TUT J, oh it's a JPEG. So open, boom, operation completed successfully. There you go, and so that's how you make your LUT. Super easy, quick process. Now I'm gonna hop into Premiere, and I already have open three clips. Now these were all filmed on my drone, on my DJI Mavic Pro, totally auto, not auto, sorry, totally manual setting in D-Log format. So the first thing that you want to do, use adjustment layers, because that basically means you can color grade every single clip that is below the adjustment layer as opposed to having to do them individually. So I'll click the editing panel. And so one tip, if you're going to be opening an adjustment layer, you have to have your project panel selected. Once you have your project panel selected, there's a few ways you can do it. File, new, and then adjustment layer. And so then it'll show what your frame rates and your sequence settings are, and you can drag this right over on top. And so this right now, I can extend to put 
over all three of my clips and I'm gonna do a similar look on all of them and then individually correct them so that they kind of look how I want them to. So when you click on your adjustment layer, you can go to the color panel up top here and it's really important that you do this right because basic correction, you can put your input LUT there and that works, that'll, that'll do the trick. But if you wanna have more freedom, go into the creative panel here, click on that and then click on look. So these are all the looks that come standard on Adobe Premiere. There's tons, you can play through them if you want. Um, but then hit browse. I'm gonna look up my own Nomads, LUT, TUT, um, boom. The cube, select the cube file, it's the only one that will open. Open it, and there. So it's already manipulated my footage a bit. It still looks good, but it's a little flat. So if I hit this I here on V2, Visual 2, it'll show the before and the after. Now, I shoot extremely flat in D-Log on my drone. So when I'm shooting that flat, I might put the intensity up a little higher. So intensity right now is at 100 and I can put it to 120 and I think that looks a little better. Now it's still nowhere near complete and one thing I will emphasize is that because my drone shoots so flat, the intensity needs to be really high. However, if you're shooting on your phone or on uh, a regular DSLR camera or even a GoPro, 100 and 120 percent intensity of a LUT is gonna be just extreme. It's gonna blow it out and it's not gonna look good. Um, so it really depends, play around with it. If you wanna get your things just right, you can use your vector scopes uh, and, it, and sort of look at your exposure and your saturation levels and then really try and get each footage from each camera looking the same. That's a little advanced for this tutorial, so I'm just gonna go through it simply with just one camera. Uh, but anyways, back to the tutorial. So we're at 120% intensity and it's starting to look decent. And I'll show before and after again. Looks good, looks good, but this is where I do it differently. And so if you, and it's a, it, it's similar to how a lot of people edit their Lightroom photos, I just do that in Premiere. So if you click on the curves tab right here, you'll see your RGB curves. And so what I do is I start at the bottom and I raise it up here, just like this, which adds a fade. And then I also lower it down from the top, which kind of just raises and lowers it at different levels. And that creates a nice looking fade. And then you want to take two points, about right here and right here, and you want to, or I'll lower this to about here. What you want to do is you want to lower your shadows and then raise your highlights. And to do that, you make what's called an S curve. And with this S curve, it looks exactly how it sounds. So you can see I'm adding a lot more contrast here. And then you want to raise it up top. And so as you can see, that is, that is what really gives it that oomph and that punch to the footage. And so that looks so much better than before. So this is what it looks like before and after. So that is, to me, that is, that is insane what this curve can do. Now that's a pretty harsh curve. Uh, you don't need to make it this harsh, but I kind of like how this is looking right now. And if you want, um, you can play around with the footage um, below. So instead of adjusting the adjustment layer um, so that the other clips get affected, if you want to tweak each individual clip, you can click on that individual one. Um, I like to go to basic correction. I think it's a tiny bit overexposed. Uh, so I'm gonna maybe yeah, 0.2, negative 0.2, or you know what, even even at zero, I think it looks pretty good. Um, this one, I'm pretty content with how it looks. I might increase the contrast uh, a little bit, and then I'll lower the blacks as well, crush them, because I think it looks really cool with the mountains, uh, just being really contrasty and really dark, uh, at least in, in this case. So then if we go to the next clip, um, we can see that it's already put on the LUT as we, uh, as we changed it, and this is the before and the after. Um, you can also adjust the saturation if you want. You can increase it a tad. I'm gonna increase the saturation just a tiny bit for this clip, which is about 11 points. Um, and I think it's looking really, really nice right now. 
Um, and then this is the final clip of me running on the beach. Um, and oh, it's just lagging a little lower the playback res. And so I think that's looking super, super nice and super cool. And so that's basically my process for going through and editing my drone footage specifically. Um, I do a, the same process uh, with my regular footage, whether that's from my phone, a GoPro, or this camera that I'm shooting on now. But the difference is, is that the intensity I use is a lot less. Um, that's for a quick grade. If I'm doing that, I just kind of play around different intensities so that they look somewhat similar. And then if I really want to spend all that time, I'll get, I'll play with the vector scopes and I'll adjust my exposure levels so that everything looks the same uh, graphically. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was pretty quick and it's I think for me, this is the easiest way to quickly learn how to color grade your footage. And what's really nice about this way is that if you have a theme on your Instagram and you want to keep that theme through your videos, this is the easiest way to do it. I think the S curve is really what makes the difference here. Um, your LUTs can get that look, but that S curve really uh, sends that home. So if you like this, please give it a like. I'm a very small creator, so any, any extra support helps. If you want to subscribe and see some more content, whether there's some travel vlogs or edits or tutorials on how to use your drone better or how to travel better, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any more ideas moving forward for content you'd like to see, let me know. And and until next time, I will see you next Friday. Thank you. Peace.